Hi everyone, this is Bernice McGill. I'm so excited to um, basically just give you kind of like what stuck out to me um, in the Grief Recovery International Conference here in LA. Um, there was so many awesome um, speakers and I have all these notes and I can't wait to get back and just kind of uh, make a plan and, and stick to that of how I can help so many people with broken hearts. I'm just truly honored because God has called my husband and I to the brokenhearted and this is the piece that we were missing, the practical piece that we can give um, the people of how to heal their heart. Um, the one thing that stuck out to me, of course, you know, the Bible says in Psalm 34, 18, that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and that he saves those who are crushed in spirit. So, you know, people with broken hearts are so important to God. And I feel so honored that he called me to help them. <laughs> and so I love how, um, you know, I learned so many things in this uh, grief recovery conference. I'm so excited to apply them. Um, I want to encourage everybody out there that if you are um, hurting, um, you know, that God is close to the brokenhearted and that we are also a three-part being. So what happens is sometimes when you do have a very strong relationship with Christ um, and you go through a significant loss, sometimes you may feel shameful of um, some of the emotional roller coaster that you feel, right? But God says in his word, Proverbs 4.23, that above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it, you know? Um, if you want to get to know someone, listen to what are the words that come out of their mouth. You know, what comes out of their mouth is actually from their heart. And when you're in a deep emotional pain, everything that, you know, a person may be saying, it could be angry, negative, whatever, um, that's because that's what's in their heart. You know, they're in pain and they're speaking from that place. And everything you do flows from it. Everything you do flows from your heart. If, if you could be the strongest spiritual person um, you could have a nice body, but if your heart is broken, it is very painful and it's hard to move forward, you know? Um, you know, and I just want to encourage everybody out there because, you know, when we have, like, let's say a broken foot or we hurt our, you know, toe or whatever, you know, we can't function at 100% full capacity. So why is that when our heart is broken, you know, even though it, the pain is not fit you can't see it because it's you know inside your body um, we expect people to function at their 100 percent capacity you know we wouldn't expect that if they had a you know their physical limbs are broken so it's the same way and i'm excited that um you know this is this is a tool that we can use to help people and i've just learned so many things i'm so encouraged i'm very honored to be here and i love my team um, Dar Garcia, Michelle Sasimoto, Auntie Bobby Tightsno, Clyde, uh, Donato. I'm just so excited to uh, come back to Guam and apply all that we know and help serve our people. So uh, thank you for listening, guys. I'm eager to connect with you and help you in your journey to healing. God bless you.